Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to do another BL Heli 32 dyno. Uh, today we're going to dyno the difference between non-damped mode being on and off, uh, which is this setting here. This is one of these, <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to make so many mistakes about this. This is one of these settings that, at least in my experience, BL Heli has kept changing the wording of and with what whether or not on is off and off is on. Uh, particularly from the older versions of Beel Heli, like Beel Heli, they called it non-damped light, and I think it's you turned it on instead of turning it off. Um, but anyway, I, if I keep saying it wrong, you'll just have to forgive me. Um, this is one of those things that drone people love, and everyone's like, you need to have it. I can understand why. But I've never seen an actual dyno about this and the explanation of it, well, a visual representation of it. Uh, and uh, so we're going to do that. But first we will look at the instructions and the instructions are pretty bad because here we go, they don't even call it uh, damped or they call it back to the original name but they actually call it regenerative braking slash active freewheeling. And to be honest, this doesn't even help anyway. Damped light mode is implemented by doing regenerative braking and inherently active freewheeling is also implemented. Then losses due to braking are uh, counteracted by the reduced losses of active freewheeling. Okay then, <laughs> whatever that means. Uh, from code uh, revision 32.4 and onwards, it is possible to select non-damped operation for most ESCs. This will degrade performance in multi-rotor applications, but can be desirable for fixed wing environments. Okay, whatever that was supposed to mean. I mean, I know what it means because I've tested it and used it, but that doesn't make any sense really to me <laughs> at all. Uh, let's have a look at the dinos, I think. I'm probably just not as smart as you guys, right? Okay, so this is a dyno of non-damped mode. We've got uh, two sets of plots, if you like, this set and this set here. We've got time here, and, oh, sorry, RPM that way, and time this way. This is done with a Brother Hobby R62205 motor on 3S. Uh, with damped light on and off or non-damped mode on or off, which I think is the inverse of each other, even though it's the same thing. Uh, so I originally got caught out on this because I was only ever testing at 100% throttle and didn't realize it made a difference to part throttle. So firstly, we're going to start with part uh, full throttle. Uh, so this is us with it on and off, and we've applied 100% power and pretty much the curves going up to 100% RPM, 100% power are the same. However, there is a big difference when you take your, your foot off the accelerator or off the throttle, uh, then you have a huge difference in uh, the ramp down. So at a thousand milliseconds or one second, I drop the power to this RPM here. And it's interesting to see how it reacts. So with non-damped mode, off. Uh, it pretty much comes straight down, though it's not straight straight, uh, while the other one continues to well, what I think they call freewheel or continue to just roll on like this. Now obviously if you are, are requiring um, precise movement this slow reduction in RPM is horrible whereas this is much much more accurate or true to the the throttle position of being here. Uh, the important thing to realize though with this is that uh, this, when you do this active braking, it tries to convert that back into power and charges your battery to some degree, uh, which is which it does. And I have a video of it blowing up power supplies with the mass massive voltage spike. Uh, but it also massively heats up the ESC, well, actually I shouldn't have said ESC, it massively heats up the motor when this happens. 
that's not really a problem in drones because you're flying in the air and you have the prop, but for my use case of Nerf blasters, which are encapsulated in plastic, uh, this can get rather hot. So you don't really want, well, in the Nerf situation, you never want this straight down like that because that just will melt down big time, especially when you're considering it's 3D printed. Uh, but that is what happens at full power. Now the more interesting thing is what happens at part throttle, uh, which is when it is, let me check, off. Then non-damped mode is off, so uh, non-damped mode is enabled. You have a very quick rev up to your desired RPM, uh, but when it is on, you have this horribly slow curve and strangely it's way above the other value so uh, from a throttle position point of view or throttle sensitivity that is basically horrible i couldn't imagine trying to fly like that i can't use that in nerf because it takes forever to speed up and uh and it's not even what I uh, was expecting it to be. So, yeah. I didn't stop that at uh, 1,000, but the situation would be the same as this one up here. I just wanted to see how long it would keep increasing for, and it took, whew, I don't know, what do you call that? 1,600 milliseconds or something to get to a constant velocity, whereas this is way down here in the 200, 300, call it 300. Uh, yeah, so that is the difference. So, no doubt when people fly, they feel that this is way more precise uh, with it off uh, than having it on uh, because it affects the throttle down and it definitely affects the throttle up, but you could say at 100% throttle, it doesn't up anyway. It makes no difference. So hopefully that helped you to understand having on and off uh, pretty much in in all cases you'd want it off well you want non-damped mode off which means you want damped mode enabled i don't know why they made that like a double negative uh, but at least you do need to be aware about the additional heating which from a nerf point of view means you actually cannot drop it straight down like this you cannot drop your throttle from there to there you have to actually recreate something like that uh, because of the heating and we are not too worried about the ramp down time uh, you can have it fairly steep or steeper than the, the default value which means you'll reduce a bit of noise and get some power back but not overheat it all right guys i have more dynos if you'd like to look at them cool i'll see you on the next one bye bye